Good evening and welcome to game week eight of the All Star Atlantic League. Um, got some good games again tonight. We're going to start by having a look at the tables, but just before we do that, can somebody just give us a message in the chat to say they can hear me and they can see the screen? That'd be great. We'll start by having a look at the competition. So uh, we start in the Eastern Conference where uh, the Bisons were running away with it. Uh, they do have a game in hand, to be honest, but the Vikings have pulled back into it now. So the uh, Vikings top that by three points with five wins out of their seven games, two losses. Uh, and then the Bisons with four wins, two losses. Then we have Drive Train and Memphis Reigns, who got off the mark last time out with a very good 2-0 win against Drive Train. Uh, in the Central Conference, it's Alcatraz that are running away with it. Um, five wins, one draw, one loss for them. 16 points have been very, very good. Uh, second in that table is Pelham, Pelham Pumas, who have three wins and one draw, three losses and 10 points. Then we have the Dandies, who have been better past couple of weeks. So they won 3-1. They then lost a very entertaining game against the Vikings, 3-2. And then they won last time out 1-0 against the Fire. And finally in that table, we have um, El Loco Fire, who got a draw against Alcatraz, and then two 1-0 losses. But they have been in every game they've been involved in. They have definitely not been out of it at all. Uh, finally, look at the Western Conference. So we have my Gators at the top. Uh, seven played, four wins, one draw, two losses, and 13 points. This league is very, very tight. Behind them, we have uh, Mega Horses Demons, who have been playing very well. A um, couple of one nil wins for them. Then we have the Steam Pigs, who were flying for a while. Uh, three wins on the bounce, but just lately they've been brought back into it a bit. And finally, we have the Short Pump Softs, who are absolutely not out of it yet on nine points. A win for them tonight, and they'll be back in it again. So, all very tight in all the divisions so far. Um, we've got a thing in. I'm sure I'm just going to check. Somebody did ask for a early or late game. I can't remember which one it was. Let's have a look. Uh, ah, so, uh, Tao, you've just asked for an early game. Are you happy to go first then? Jamie's asked for a late game. So... Yeah, I saw that the other day, didn't well, That is a very good point. I noticed that I played a lot of away and then home. It doesn't seem to be one home, then one away. It seems to be like three home, then three away. Um, yeah, so who are you playing? Uh, playing Rob? Yeah, you can go first if you want, Tato, if that helps you. We can do that. Uh, road trips, yeah. So um, tonight we have the Dandies versus Drivetrain, the Demons versus Alcatraz, uh, the Gators versus Memphis Reigns, Pelham versus the Vikings, Sh Short Pump versus the Bisons, and Steam Pigs versus El Loco Fire. Uh, Tato has just asked to go first. We will do continue, and we will go there to start us off. So we start with the Bisons. Uh... <laughs> yes, Mega Horse, we will. How about we stick it somewhere in the middle? <laughs> Uh, good timing, Rob. Excellent. Yeah, you uh, take us last for you to go first, so we're going to do that. We'll start by having a look at the Bisons, who go like this. Tao, can you just um, confirm to me? I'm sure we swapped it around last time, and I think I've remembered it. Uh, Tomasi on the left and Mendieta on the right. Just confirm that that's how you want it. Uh, obviously, butt in the middle. Uh, yeah, your lineup just has a list of players. So I, I'm sure we did it last time we swapped them over. Just confirm to me that you're okay with how it is or if you want it swapped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And so a lineup uh, uh, Tomasi, Bart, Mendieta, Giggs, Zambrotta, Nicky Ferenko, Rossini, and Hussein. That, I like that front two a lot. Uh, Rossini three and six has been very good. I'm sure Hussein stuck twice on his first game against me. Yep, three and five for them. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, we go to the sloths. 
The Scoffs who line up like this, Oliver Kahn and Golden, Ayala, George Costa, one of his absolute favourites. Then we have Roberto, King, Gattuso, Sammy Harovic, Mark Kerr, Deco, Alan Smith and Impenza. Um, uh, again, just confirm to me, Rob, that that's what you wanted to do. I saw the picture. I kind of guessed that Roberto and Sammy Harovic were playing wing-backs, but let me know if you want to push them on. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at uh, George Costa because I know he is one of his favourites. And yeah, he's got all the right stats in the right places. Should be pretty good. Uh, this is his first start of the season. Lovely. Excellent. Right. That's good to know. Um, let's get our first game underway. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I just see Matt Duggan. Yeah. <laughs> he loves George Costa, though, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna doubt him. He should be good. Should be good. Right, so let's get our first one underway. Um let's kick us off. So short pump get us underway here. Uh, first five minutes, and here comes the very good bisons who started absolutely brilliantly, but the last couple of games haven't quite got it together. As Ambrosso with an early chance, as Giggs getting involved, but here comes Z Roberto the other way, and it is Alan Smith that gets the goal from Z Roberto's cross. Always dangerous, always dangerous, Z Roberto. And again, he's involved, and Smith again, and it hits Orononco. It's Ambrotto the other way, though. George Costa's name there coming up. Geeks to Rossini. And Penza with the chance. I think it might be his debut tonight as well. We will just check that out. See Roberto again and Deco fires wide. And we play 50 minutes. And four shots from short pump, one on target, which they score from. And Bisons have five on goal and two on target. Um Short pump, yeah. Aaron Smith doing very well on an eight in there, as is Oliver Kahn. Uh, Z Roberto on a seven. I think that's probably because of the yellow card. Oh, please, that'll do. Yeah, like that. Excellent. Uh, I'll just check. Nothing worried condition wise. That's very really good. And we will go over to the Bisons. Uh, Nicky Butt having a good game. Everybody else pretty average on there. Uh, let me know if you want any changes. Potato. Uh, well, we'll just wait for that. We'll just check. I'm sure it was a... No, it was a Roy Keane assist. It, I'm sure it read it was a... Um, see Roberto one. Uh, no, it was Keane that sent it forward. Excellent. Um, right, so please. move to Massey and then yes to MC, please. Both off and watch, but I can stay at the MC. So, okay. Like that? Just confirm you're all happy with that. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. All right, we will go to 60 minutes. It was an early chance for Bisons, but that was so down. But here comes Nicky Ferenko and Hussein and Giggs. Certainly more into it. Nicky Ferenko again. And we get to 60 minutes, 62. And, yep. <laughs> Rob is going for it again. So we are doing Trezeguet for Deco. And three up top. Yep, like that. <laughs> So we've been trying to insinuate him going three up top when he's one nil up means he's drunk or the fact that he just goes three up top every time after 45 or 60 minutes. So, um, yep, just give us an okay, Rob, but I think that's what you mean. Uh, go across to Bisons. Still about the same. Uh, no condition-wise. I know Tato's a condition as a myth man, but, yep, just having a check. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, excellent. Yeah, 
Matteo, let us know what you want to do. Um, let's have a look at some players while we're there. Uh, two assists in six games for um, Ryan Giggs. He's always involved. What's Nicky Franco doing? Oh, it's only his second. Oh, after a swap, only a second game for you. Uh, so he's going here for Hussein. Ronaldo for Nicky Ferenko. Oh, do shite performance. Don't want to think about it again. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Uh, we will finish our first game off. Can the Bisons get back into it? Uh, see Roberto now Campbell with a chance. I've seen George Costa's name a lot. It looks like he's had a good game. And there is the Roberto again. And it's Impenza with a chance. Still 1 0. Another book in Z Roberto again. We'll slow this down as we've got to 75. Meant yet to come back the other way. Rossini, can we get a goal and take it to extra time? Zambrotta, Catuso, and it is Rossini that makes it 1 1 after 76. Can we get a winner? Nicky Buck with the book in, unsurprisingly. Offside here, Rossini can't finish it off. And it is a winner on the 86th minute, and it is a Tato favourite who gets in the goal as well. And just to be sure, Tomasi makes it 3-1. Uh, Bison's absolutely brilliant after 60 minutes. Um, yeah, good performance from then. Rossini getting the 10 in the end. Um, Pierre off the bench getting his goal as well. It's a good performance from Rossini. Let's have a look. What did he do? Four shots, two on target. Yeah, and also a nine from keeper as well. It's probably going to help. Or the Khan on the seven for short pump. Uh, Alan Smith doing okay. Catuso, Z Roberto doing okay as well. Just couldn't finish it. Uh, yep, good swaps there. Good subs made when needed. Where the assists come from? Assist from Zambrotta and Rossini. Excellent. Yeah, and that was our first game. 3 1 win to the Bisons. And we go across second game. We have the New York Dandies versus Drivetrain. Uh, the Dandies go like this tonight um, Compe, Larson, Yeremes, Robin, Simkoviak. Ferguson, Beckham, back, Tony, and Ledenov. Um, I think he's got some injuries up front. That's why I think Ledenov's in there. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, he's, he has got some injuries up front. Um, Constantino is still coming back. Uh, 58, he'll be back shortly. And, yep, yeah, let's move across. And they play uh, the Detroit drivetrain tonight. Um, yeah, Mike Savage's drivetrain. <laughs> Dogan says, Ledinoff is the Belarusian wood as Belarus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so they play uh, the drivetrain tonight. So they line up with the... Uh, Bart has a goal. Then it is Chris Perry and Juliano, uh, Giancella, Rivaldo, Skulls, Boer, Mendevichia, Alex, Henri, and Roberts. Uh, Roberts doing stuff for Tato in the uh, Super League at the moment. Also has a goal here from his only start. Again, he also has some injuries. Nesta out, uh, Del Vecchio out, and Neil Scully as well. And... Yep, the chat has gone very fortnight, so we will kick off our second game. Can the Dandies carry on their impressive form lately? Uh, they kick us off. And it's 10 minutes with not a lot happening here. 18 minutes, not a lot happening. Wow. And here we go. It's our first chance. It scrolls to Rivaldo, and Rivaldo puts the ball in the back of the net, and it is 1-0 to Tri-Train. Comes Beckham back the other way. Come on, pay. Some Koviak with a chance. Mendevichia. 
drive train looked dangerous when going forwards. And we get to half time. Uh, not a lot happening, to be honest. Uh, drive train slightly better in the stats and also got the goal as well. We'll start by having a look. Yeah, <laughs> as is for Duggan. Excellent. Uh, Robin's doing quite well for you in there. Uh, I will just show conditions just in case. No, nothing. Excellent. That's a early call. I haven't seen Savage. Oh, I have seen Savage. There he is. Excellent. He'll be happy to be one up. Um, Rivaldo with the goal, but other than that, a pretty average as is. Excellent. There we go. Straight to 60 minutes on this one. And it looks like we're going to get there without. No, but here comes Beckham. Tony with the chance. Tony with another chance and a shot and a good save. And it seems to be all the dandies at the moment. Can they get the goal though? We get to 60. 61 on the clock. Um, and we'll start again looking at the dandies. So uh, Robin's still having a good game on an eight. Playing from that wide left. Everybody else pretty average. Uh, condition wise, yeah, all good. And I'll go back to ratings. Probably expecting a bit more from Sinkoviak, uh, who had two assists in his five appearances for the Des Moines Demons. Now, while we're looking at that, we'll go over to Drivetrain. Uh, Rivaldo doing well. Bartez obviously doing well. Uh, condition wise, yeah, they've got no worries in there either. Paul Scholes on 85, but he'll be fine. Um, I think Savage might stick as is here. Going okay. Maybe a Landon Donovan Edmundo for Alex. Oh, Jens is... Um, are you offering out the Vikings, Jens? That's interesting. Uh, as for the Danny, so we go a Defoe for Ledenov. Ledenev, even. Um, make some caveat and focus and have straight small arrows to MC. Yep, like that. Let's give us some okay. That'd be great. <laughs> you can't even give them away, Jens. Um, we'll go across to the dry tray. Bang on. Excellent. Cheers, Duggan. Let's wait for Savage. Alex for Edmundo. Done. Excellent. Edmundo comes on to play behind Roberts. All right. Let's uh, get this one going. 1 0 to the drivetrain still. And they're off again. And another chance. I know a good save in there. Beckham with the chance. Some Koviak now involved. Rivaldo again. Rivaldo having a good game for him. Defoe, and it is 1 1. Jermaine Defoe gets the goal. And again, we will slow this one down as we've got something to play for. Ferguson with the chance, just goes wide. Archie back, and a big save from Artez again. Can we get a winner with 10 to go? Edmundo, it is. In, oh, it won't count. He was offside, I think, there. Looked like he'd won the game. But instead, it looks like we're going to go to extra time in this one. Valdo with a chance. Bends it just wide, right at the end. End of 90 minutes. So we get our first extra time of the evening. Robin now up to a 10. What has he been doing out there? He did get the assist. Uh, three key tackles, four key passes, I suppose, yeah. Have a look at Dandy's condition. All in the 80s, yeah. Should be good. Try trading overtime, never. Yeah, I think you might have been involved in the most, definitely. It's, um, I think it's Bartos keeping you. Yeah, Bartos having a very good game again. Uh, Medavicchio on 78, but should be okay as his skulls and Rivaldo. 
That's what Valdo been up to for you. Two assists. He's got a goal tonight. He's doing okay. Uh, Duggan blinks first and says, our goal for Compe. He obviously worried about the yellow card and extra time. Fill in for Bex and go. Ah, David Beckham sacrificed here. Uh, get talking to Tato, who will be all over you for Beckham, I should imagine. I think Beckham's had about eight clubs already. Bartez doing very well. We'll just have a look at the stats. Yeah, seven shots on goal, four on targets. Bartez made three saves. Let's wait and see if we want any changes here. Uh, got Donovan on the bench, perhaps. Maybe push Henri up front and see Zee Roberts. Henri to say, yeah. Oh, there we go. Right on cue. I hadn't even read that. Uh, so it is Roberts off for Donovan and AMC. Like that. Henri to SC. Roberts off for Donovan. Yep. Excellent. So we play our first half of extra time. Still got it on medium. Ferguson to foe with a chance. Robin Rivaldo trips him up. Another good save from Bartes. Did Mundo come the other way? But here they come again. Is Archie back? No. Donovan. Henri can't finish. Ferguson goes just wide. Edmundo, Rivaldo with the front floats the free kick in. And again. And it is half time in extra time. Um, I think we said no subs at this point, so we will just have a quick look. Uh, three subs already made for the dandies anyway. So match rating wise, yeah, all good. Um, yeah, that's fine. As for drivetrain. Condition-wise, Henri on 79, Madavikia 76, but we've got 15 to go, so we should be fine. Yeah, he ends. I'll do Vikings next, mate. Yep, no problem. Um, yeah, so I think we kick off and finish this one off here. Some Kodiak with a chance. Edmundo away. Waves away the penalties. Rivaldo, and it is it is Landon Donovan who wins it in 115 minutes, and I think it was Rivaldo, was it? It was Rivaldo. He's had a great game for drivetrain, a goal and an assist for him, and it is Donovan that wins the game. Mega Horse, I don't know if it's worse, but at least you're watching it. I'm presenting it sat, sat at home, you know. <laughs> I think we're all guilty of that one. Uh, yeah, really entertaining game. Yeah, definitely, Dylan. Very good game, that one. Is that when you got your goal last time, was it? 114. Yeah, excellent. Match stats-wise, uh, drive train probably just deserved it. It's like more shots. But Dandy's pretty um, pretty good on target. Uh, yeah, passes, tackles. Dandy's probably slightly up on that. But that's probably Jeremy's making all the challenges. Um, Robin still ended up on a, with a 10 on the losing side. It was interesting. Uh, Tackles-wise, Jeremy's, yeah, 11 tackles. There we go. That's where they all came from. Uh, Jens wants to go next. So we will jump over to the Vikings. And they play Dimbles, Pelham, Pumas. So the Vikings line up. Uh, Janssen Cannavaro at the back, Dede, Saeed, Desai, Zanetti, Imar in, in the middle with the arrow, Emerson, Mackay and Sizalko up front. Uh, poor old Christian Donny, who has been absolutely brilliant, is at least this week he's on the bench if needed. And they are playing against the Pelham Pumas, who go uh, Vestval, Hippia. 
Assisi, Cadze, Petty, Vogel, Cole, Agahauer, Ronaldinho, Montella, and Cliver. That is a very, very good front three. Cole and Agahauer are also very good as well. Two good sides here. Should be pretty evenly matched, this one, I think. Let's um, get this one kicked off. Straight away, an early chance. Sixteen two. There was no early chance, and then it's not much. But here comes the Vikings. Not a lot happening here. Uh, Ronaldinho, though. Joe Cole into Ronaldinho, but coming back the other way, Ima has a chance. Pretty end to end at the moment. Montel with a swerving shot goes just by Cliver with a chance. Cliver again. And we get to half time. And uh, Pell will be disappointed to go in nil nil here. Yeah. Yeah, some nice colours here. <laughs> I haven't actually seen Dimble. What was he about? I haven't seen him tonight. Uh, we will start by looking at Pellon. Uh, doing very well at the back. And Joe Cole having a decent game. Uh, Vogel struggling on a six there. Interesting. Fitness-wise, all okay. Move over to the Vikings. Uh, pretty average all round. Keeper having a good game. Oh, Dimble is there. Yeah. <laughs> As is from Dimble. So, Jens, let me know what you want to do. If anything. As is as well. Excellent. Right, let's go to 60. Joe Cole with the chance. And it is Montella after 56 that makes it 1-0 to Pelham. And we stop it on 60. And I think Dimble won't be making any changes here. They were some good ratings in there. Um, yeah, stats-wise, Pelham doing okay. Go across to Vikings. And what can they do? Perhaps it is time for uh, Donny to come on. What's Imar up to? Six, yeah. Perhaps it's his chance here. Maybe or Mackay out. Imar up one. Or Emerson even, and probably go for it. No changes. Yep, then we'll... Excellent. Wait and see what Jens wants to do. What's that they've been doing? Ah, oh, four assists in seven games. Very good from left wing back. Emerson has played twice. Imar, six appearances, two assists for him. He's doing okay as well. And a Zanetti in there. He's seven without anything. That's interesting. Don't we expect something from Zanetti in them seven games? Oh, big changes here. Janssen for Petkov. Swap with Desai. Move Imar up to AMC with an arrow next to Mackay. Okay. Emerson Central. Potential injury in all my class. <laughs> now nah, you'll be all right. No, potentially, I didn't sort of spot that. Just Sunetti. <laughs> Dead eye. Yeah, perhaps it is. But yeah, two wing backs there. Perfect. Excellent. Right. So let's finish this one. 
Uh, one nil to Pelham with half an hour to go. Clive up with a chance, top corner, good save. This is Alco, and it is Mackay that makes it 1-1 one, one here. The change has worked. Ronaldinho, though, coming back the other way. Joe Cole, good save. Corner comes in. Montella, Cliver. Are we going to have another extra time? Or can we get a late winner? Let's slow this one down for the last few. Montella, Desai, Cliver. 81 on the clock. Chance. That's just gone wide. Seems to be all Pelham, but here come Vikings right on cue. I'm over the chance. It's affected for a corner. Ronaldinho strikes it. And it is the end of 90 minutes. We have another extra time tonight. Uh, that was another good game. Pelham, 13 shots on target, though. We'll move across and have a look at Pelham. Uh, condition wise, yeah, 74, 79, 72, but it should be okay for half an hour more. Uh, Vikings wise, yeah, all looking pretty good. They've had a good, uh, the changes seem to have made them a lot better condition wise. Uh, Mackay 77, but that's about all. Uh, this is Alco on an eight, but without a goal. Six goals and four appearances so far. Dunny for Imar, please, from Jens. Yeah, we can do that. And for Pelham, it is Duffer, Vogel, and Go. Yeah, we can do that as well. Yellow cards are coming into play, let's be thinking. And we will kick off extra time here. Can we get a, another extra time winner? Slow it down for extra time. Ronaldinho, with a chance. Montella, Duff. Oh, could have been a winner there. Coming back the other way, it's Dede. And it's half time in extra time. We'll have a quick look at the stats. Uh, a pretty good performance there. Mostly eights in there from the Pelham Puniers. Condition wise, yep, yeah, all good. Go across the Vikings. Again, some decent numbers in there. Saeed on the nine. Cannavaro on the nine. Don't need not getting involved on a six. We will finish this one. Second half of extra time. And we will slow it down. It's still a medium, so we will do that. Agahawa, Cliver, Mackay. Does Alco have a chance? Good save. And it is a winner. It is Ronaldinho. And this time it's 113 min minutes there, Savage, just to uh, something a little different. A Ronaldinho winner who ends up with a 8 and 16 shots on goal in the end from Pelham. Probably deserved. Uh, passing wise, pretty standard. Tackles, not too bad. Good games. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, good night, ends. Thank you. Uh, pretty unlucky there, but another good game. Uh, we'll just have a quick look, just because I know you like looking at the stats. And yeah, Montella having a good game with his assist and his goal. And we move over to the Steam Pigs and El Loco Fire. Steam Pigs go like this. Shevchenko making his debut tonight, I think. Yes, he is. And... Uh, Samuel Stam, Georgias, Z. Ellis, Contra, Rick Helme, Zanoni, Kuehl, Elber, and Shevchenko. Uh, Sebastian Frey in goal for them as well. Uh, that is another strong, we say it every time, but that is another strong team. Um, the Steam Pigs. And they play El Loco Fire, who change it up tonight, playing a 2 1 5 2. Uh, formation I have played in the Super League in the past, I think, but uh, I quite like this. Andre and Goal, Stuko, Ferdinand, Sulinchinski, Hersey, Van 
and Devart, Dysler, Yax, Raid, and then Anelka and Fernando Torres for them. I do quite like this. See how it fares against the strong Steam Pigs, though. MLJ. <laughs> yeah. That's a decent setup, I think. Let's get this one going. Harry Cool with an early chance. It's an Oni in there as well. Shevchenko on his debut after 13 minutes gets the goal. Very good start for him, but here come the fire back the other way. Are we going to get a good Shevchenko in this save? It's about time. Raquel, mate, and he's got a second here. We are going to get a good Shevchenko. He got a hat-trick on his debut for... Um, oh, 2-1, Fernando Torres back. Yeah, Shevchenko got a hat-trick on his first start and then didn't score again, I don't think. Uh, but they're back in it now. And Nelka with a chance. Maybe should be 2-2 here. Shevchenko save. I thought he'd done it. I thought he'd got a first-half hat-trick. And it is. It's Elmer that makes it 3-1. What a first half we've had here. Torres back the other way. And, yeah. Steam Pink's very good. Eight shots on goal, six on target. No Voco Fire, though. Not out of it. Four shots, two on target. Uh, Shevchenko has been brilliant so far. Yeah, I'm sure he got he got four for the sloths, but I'm sure three of them were on his debut for them. I don't think there's going to be any changes from the Steam Pigs across to Scott's Oloco Fire. Uh, Andre not great in goal. Rustico on a five. Everybody else doing okay. Yeah, I think you could be right, Toe. I think I would perhaps... I think you might need at least one defensive in there. You maybe do Gerard for Dizer and take the arrow off. Or go for 2-2-4-2, two, 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 perhaps, as is to 60. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. I don't think I've seen Scott. We'll just give it five... Well, we'll just give it a couple more seconds. I won't make any changes for him. Uh, yeah, Andre, Andre off. Oh, it's a big call here. Okay, Andre off. So, Nigma Tullin on. Who used to go for Malevsky? Move to the right, so... Sent a third man for you as well. Gerald for Dizer. Gerald. Like that. Do you want to keep the arrow on Gerard as well? Yes, keep the arrow on. Excellent. Right. Uh, some big changes there. Let's kick off the second half and go to 60. Will the changes have an impact? We get to 51. Nothing happened on 56. Are we going to get nothing? And it is four, and it is George that gets it. Shevchenko makes it five and gets another hat trick here. Um. I don't think, unless he's going to rest some players, I don't see any changes at 60 here at all. Shevchenko, absolutely brilliant. 
Rekomo doing well as well in the middle. Yeah, assists all over the place as well. As is please. Yeah, I thought you would be after that. Go across. Nick Matilden's come on and also got a five, which has not helped at all. As is Scott says. So we will finish this one off. 5 1 Steam Pigs, who have been very good again. It seems to have slowed down a bit now. And Elka with a chance. Eighty seven on the clock. Percy, good save. Shevchenko again. Corner kick. And then we get to the final whistle. And it is 5 1 to the Steam Pigs, who were very good. Well, they were just efficient, I'd say. 11 shots, 9 on target, 5 of them scored. 6 from El Loco, 5 through on target. I think they were let down by both their keepers. Though he did come on and get a 6 in the end. Uh, Lefsky getting an eight. Steam Peaks wide. Shevchenko, brilliant. Contra getting a nine as well. Sinoni getting a nine. Sebastian Frey an eight. That is a very good performance there. Yeah, that is his second hat trick. Second time on his debut as well. Just click on the stats again just so we can see. Yeah, good performance. And we get, we said we'd leave that one, so we will go across. I think it's my game next then. Yeah. It is Blackwater Gators. Um, we already got, we got suspension and injury to two of our biggest players as well. It means we line up. We go back to our standard formation after changing it about a bit. Um, Turan makes his debut for us at the back. So we have Hoffman, Turan, Carlos, to call a gap. Kill Gonzalez comes into that unfamiliar left side of central midfield. Van Bommel, Veron, Amoroso and Vaduka up front. Um, yeah, missing Totti is a big, big miss. Rui Costa as well. And we go against Memphis Reigns, who stick as they were last game when they were very good and won 2-0. So they stick with the one at the back. Then it's that favourite three DMCs. And we've got Archer in front, Diego Simone, uh, Ortega, Savio, Crespo, and the Airy, uh, um, Simone, who was called the best DMC on the game the other week, I think, Mateo, um, has been pretty good as well. We will get this one going. I think it's going to be a tough game for us tonight. Um, kick it off. Straight away. There is Simone. And it, it oh, disallowed. For Ron coming back the other way. Van Bommel is end-to-end -end here at the moment. Only 10 minutes played, already a lot of action. It is Veron, and that doesn't count. That is a goal each disallowed here. Archer shoots wide. And Vaduka does get the goal. He has been very good for us up front. Um, did not expect him to be to push uh, Van, um, yeah, Van Nistroy out, but he has done. I shouldn't like him because he played for Leeds, but he did score that goal that I think it was against Liverpool when we needed one. Here comes Memphis Reigns the other way. Ku Gonzalez with a chance, blasts it over the bar. Crespo heads it wide. This has definitely been end-to-end -end stuff here, but it's been mostly Memphis Reigns. It's just the hitting the target we have had the problem. Yeah, some, I thought it was some game, but um, text says otherwise. <laughs> it appeared to be. I think we had two early disallowed goals. Yeah, Crespo scored, climbed above Buffon. It was ruled out. He backed into and fouled Buffon. And I think a bit later, uh, Veron scored. Yeah, Veron swiveled on the ball, hit a fierce shot, scored, but it was ruled out. A gap somehow from right wing back. Um, as for us, uh, I think we'll give Amoruso a 
break and Manatees will come on for him to play behind the front man. Uh, I haven't seen Rocks. We will just have a look. Uh, five. I'm wondering whether uh, for his keeper. Don't think I'll change it. Um, perhaps a shout from somebody in the chat. Would you change the keeper on a five? Um, I probably shouldn't make the decision as I'm playing against them. So, any of you, what do you think? Would Rock switch his keeper? So who would make that decision? Tato Dimble, what do you reckon? If it was me, I probably would, but I'd like somebody else just to confirm. Not sure. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Always difficult. Just leave it, Dimble says. Excellent. Yeah, okay, that's good for me. I don't think he did, so we will um, we'll carry on till 60. If he's still not having a great game at 60, we will have another think about it. So just one quick change for me behind the front man, and we will go to 60 here. Uh, Roberto Carlos with a chance for Duca again. There's a lot of text, but not a lot of chances, I think. Olivier Decor getting involved. The Duca again. We get to 60 minutes. And it is a corner to Memphis Reigns. Uh, Taran doing excellent on his debut nine. Excellent. Roberto Carlos on the nine as well. Decor on the nine. Doing okay at the back. Not much going forwards, though. Uh, Van Bommel on a six is an interesting one. Haven't really got another attacking change on there. Tempted to do Redondo. For Van Bommel, shore it up a bit. Yeah, we'll do that. Excellent. We'll move across to Memphis Reigns, who uh, he's got better, so we will leave him be. Uh, condition wise, nothing to worry about. So, as I haven't seen him, we will carry this one on to the end. One nil Gators here. Baron Faduka with a chance. Decor. Another chance. Roberto Carlos been everywhere tonight. Can Memphis Reigns get one back? Veron, another chance. Here they come, though. Seen a lot of Vaduka and Veron, but uh, I think it's hit the upright. Into the last few minutes, can we hold on for another 1-0 win? We don't score many goals. And, yeah, a lot of text, but not a lot of chances, to be honest. Only hit the target twice, both sides. Gators-wise, um, Tram on, end up on an 8, Hoffman on an 8, Carlos on a 9, Decor on a 9. So, yeah, as I said, all the defensive uh, players doing okay. Move across to Memphis Reigns. Uh, Michelini gets his standard eight, as does Gomez as well. Always guaranteed good performances from them. Uh, Stats-wise, the assist was from Roberto Carlos, who has been good for me as well. And another goal for Viduca. And a 1-0 win. Not a great performance, but we'll take that. And we move on to our last game of the evening already. And we have the uh, Des Moines Demons, who... Uh, going with an interesting setup. Uh, Van Nistelrooy up front with a backwards arrow. But I spoke to uh, uh, Horse earlier, who told me he's getting Van Nistelrooy is going to get involved with the team and he will get them playing. So yeah, if he can have a debut as good as Taram just had for me, which was the swap, and um, I think we he'll be very happy. Switch the forwards, please. Okay, like that. I thought I'd done that to be honest. Van Nistelrooy is nine. Okay, right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, like that. Just confirm that that's okay. Let's 
see lots of messages. I should probably have a look at these just in case. Oh, wow. Jens, what are you doing, man? Um, <laughs> um, yep, yeah, so uh, thanks for playing, playing instructions needed. It. Okay, excellent. And we will go across to Alcatraz. We'll go across to Jamie's Alcatraz, who asked to go late. Hopefully he is now about. And they line up like this. Fix Bayer in goal. Maldini, Keown, who have been absolutely solid at the back. Candela, Davids, Enday, Emerton, Nedved, Collins, Sand, and Inzaghi up front. Um, and we will get this one kicked off. Kick off our last game in the evening. Here come Alcatraz. Dyer been very involved for the Demons. Boomer with a chance as well. That's a good wing-back pairing. 21 minutes in, not many shots. Van Nistelrooy probably with his first half chance there. Nedved's name coming up. Edmonton. This is an Alcatraz side that don't concede many goals. Dyer shot just over. And it looks like we're going to get to half time. Playing a lot of extra time. No, we do get to half time. Alcatraz only had one shot, but it was on target. As for the Demons, three shots, one on target. Um, Stefan Ancho having a good game. I think that's it. it is his debut as well. Yeah, be happy with that. Van Nistelrooy not really involved on the six there. Won't be happy with that start. Uh, across to Alcatraz. Uh, and I again an eight, as expected for him. Condition, nothing to worry about for them. Uh, let's know if anybody wants to make any changes. <laughs> yeah. Conditions, please. Yeah. All in the 90s. Uh, Jamie has gone first and said Collins for Batistuta and two up top. Like that. Just give us the okay and say that's what you mean. That'd be great. Play on, thanks. Yeah, great. Okay, it says play on. Play on, thanks. Yep, yeah, excellent. We will carry this on till 60. We're already at 50. In Zagi with a chance. Nedved, excellent save. Van Nistelrooy. Can he get his skull on his debut? And he does. He 58 minutes, he does get his goal. I'd be very happy with that. He wasn't having a great game, but he is now up to a nine. <laughs> yeah. Breaking news. I should have a yellow bar across the bottom. Uh, yeah, really. Yeah, apparently so. Um, any changes here? Uh, you're monitoring Lambasini. I think he'll be all right. Conditions as well. Okay, yeah. All 80s and 90s. 
move across, look at Alcatraz. Kandela and Ndai having good games. Martin Keown as well, doing well at the back. But they are one down. Play on from Mega Horse. Excellent for the last half hour. Hopkins, your deals are shafted. <laughs> I actually do have a deal with Jens for the Vikings as well, but if it doesn't go through, it isn't anything major for me. But um, it would have been nice to do it. Keon for Brozek and free up front from Jamie. Excellent. He is going for the free up top and the one at the back. I think something like that. Yeah, is, the, is it going to have a knock-on effect for other deals of people like, oh, I'm not doing that now because I've done this? Or will they say he has to, the new person has to stick to it? That's it. Thanks, mate. Excellent. Anyway, back to All-Stars, where we are tonight. Uh, last game of the evening. So it was 1-0 to um, Des Moines Demons. We have half hour. Can Alcatraz get an equaliser? And we will kick it off. Gone to free up top. Bat Stewart's had a chance. But here's Van Nistroy. I haven't seen much of Halliday tonight. Sand with a chance, it's a corner. And it is Maldini from the corner who makes it 1-1. Are we getting another extra time this evening? Bat Stewart in space, so could have won it. Are we going to get a late hero here? Boom with a chance. Oh, Maldini blocks it. And we get another extra time. Uh, as for the Demons, Van Nistroy on the nine. Prades on the nine as well. Some good performances in there, condition-wise. Uh, all pretty good, really. Ambrosini, 79. Johnny Halliday, 79 as well. Uh, move over to Alcatraz. Big Spire on a nine in goal. And Maldini, eight. The going three up top on one at the back definitely worked for him. And Zaghi only on the six. So what else have we got on the bench? He's made two subs. Uh, Lucio on the bench. Are we going to have any changes? Condition-wise, nothing to worry about here. Uh, match stats. Uh, the demon slightly edging it. Can we get another extra time winner? Any changes for either of you while we're doing this? Ah, press from Nedved, please, mate. Yeah, we can do that. Um, here we go. That's the three subs made for Alcatraz. We still aren't conceding many goals, just the one tonight. And uh, Demons are going to Netty for Ambassini, which won in the game last time, if I remember. Literally first touch to Netty. Shearer for Holiday. Swapping of extra beer. Remove the arrow on Shearer. Direct passing, please. Oh, we have a first team instruction. He is going to direct passing. Excellent. Just give us the okay horse before I run it. And if there's any other changes, Jamie, you want to make? As it's our last game, if you can just give us the okay on these, that'd be great. Van Nistroy, Shearer, and Expedia is a good front three. Perfect one side. Excellent. He did just take Halliday off. 
All good. Excellent. Right. So let's get it going in extra time. We'll slow it down and we will kick it off. And Shira is on. Can we get a winner? 96. It's Brosek Dyer with a chance. Perhaps that was the chance to win it. And we get straight. Shira can go across. Inzaghi, good save. And we get to half time in extra time. Uh, we will just have a look at the ratings and the conditions. But again, no, nothing to worry about. I think we said we weren't doing any subs at half time in extra time. So um, three have been made by Alcatraz anyway. So condition wise, yep, nothing to worry about. And match ratings. Uh, and die on a nine, Candela on a nine, Maldini on a nine as well. So we will finish this one off. Second half of extra time. And not a lot happening in it, to be honest. Can we get a winner? I don't think we're going to. Absolutely nothing has happened. But here's Brozek to win it. No, yellow card. And that is the final whistle. And we get a draw. And that takes us to the classifieds at the end of game week eight. Uh, Dandies one, drive train two, drive train with an extra time winner there. Again, uh, Desmond Demons one, Alcatraz one, which we've just seen. Gators one, Memphis Reigns nil. Uh, Pelham two, Vikings one with a extra time winner as well. Uh, the Softs one, uh, the Bisons three. Bisons very good second half. And then finally, we have the Steam Pigs. Five El Loco Fire One Steam Pigs absolutely brilliant. Shevchenko hat trick on his debut. We will have a look at the leagues while we're here. So it is uh, the Bisons that go back to the top of the Eastern Conference from 15 points with a game in hand as well. Uh, Vikings second, 15 points as well. Drivetrain in third on 13, and Memphis Reigns. Uh, fourth on three points. We move across to the Central Conference, and it is Alcatraz who just picked up the point there on 17. Four clear now of Pelham, and then Dandies on six, and El Loco Fire on one. And across the Western Conference, and it is the Gators, who are on 16, but have played a game more than the very impressive Steam Pigs, who are on 13. Uh, Desmond Demons on 13 as well. And finally, short pump sloths on nine. Still pretty tight. Have a quick look at the player stats. Um, CIS tops it as expected. Eight, two, nine. Then we have Candela, Gomez, Rossini, Georgios, Tomasi in there as well. Doing very well. Kieran Dyer as well, we said. Um, and Shevchenko. Uh, Goals-wise, Shevchenko leads the way with seven, two hat-tricks and a single goal. Then we have Sizalko on six, Mackay five, Elbert five, Rossini four, Viduka four, Ronaldinho on four as well. Very good from AMC. Um, penalties, we've only had two. We've only had two penalties. That's an interesting stat. That might be the lowest I've seen for that many games. Um, assist wise, Dede has four, Kieran Dyer has three, Joe Cole has three, and we have a whole host actually on three now looking at it. And, and uh, man the matches it is Shevchenko on three. Pass completion wise, it always centre backs at Iliano and uh, on 90%, and Gene Cheddar on 85 as well. Luo Turan makes his first game and gets 83. Uh, tackles a game it is Yen Jeremy's. Who could have predicted that one? See, I Ellis in second. Yap Stam in third, though. Interesting. A dribbles game. Ryan Giggs tops that as expected. Kieran Dyer, Joe Cole, uh, Rui Costa in there as well. Shots on target. Shevchenko, 81%. That's pretty good. Uh, average rating, uh, as we said earlier, CILS is there. Fixtures wise, so our next games we have the Bisons versus Memphis Reigns, Vikings versus Drive Train, Dandies versus Alcatraz, El Loco Fire versus uh, Pelham Pumas, uh, Gators against Desmoid Demons. I think that was the, was that the first game as well. No, second game. That's going to be interesting. Van Nistroy back up against the Skaters. And then we have Steam Pigs against Short Pump. We're back in playing our own conference games again. Um, so, yep, that will hopefully be... will definitely be a stream next Wednesday, but I think we're hoping to do something in between. So if anybody can let me know... Um, 
I'm away this weekend, so if you want screenshots or anything, let me know tomorrow, and I'll try and do it tomorrow evening. Also, um, transfers. Could somebody put them in, in a sensible message just saying what still needs to be done? I won't move it on. I'll just save it for now. Um, if somebody could send me a list of the transfers that need to go through, I will do that. And then I will make the save live at the start of game week nine. Um, thanks a lot for everybody. Um, and we will see you soon.